Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise 4E channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Stars of Sister Wise Cody and Robin Brown may be experiencing deep regrets in light of Cody's son Garrison Brown's untimely death. Even while nobody should be held responsible for the suicide of another person, it makes sense that the contentious couple would reflect on their past decisions and wish they could go back in time. The worst thing that has ever occurred to the Brown family is Garrison's passing. Robin and Cody have stirred up controversy for the entire 18 seasons of Sister Wives. Cody caused a great deal of discord in the family when he brought Robin in. The other wives felt betrayed by his love for Robin. A few of Cody's children with Christine Mary and Janelle Brown also became resentful because they believed Robin's children with Cody received preferential treatment. It's never simple to be polygamous. It puts people in awkward circumstances. Robin and Cody must, however, accept the accountability for some of their shortcomings. There was a lot of animosity between them because they were so engrossed in each other. Though Cody seemed to lose his mind, they may have attempted to be more equitable. He lost interest in trying. Christine, Janelle, and Mary hoarded fury. Christine was the first to bow out, causing a group to scatter and leaving Cody with just one wife. It's not that Cody doesn't love Robin. Rather, the issue lies in the way he turned conceited once they started dating. Love had blinded him, and he began to emotionally disengage. He persisted in showing preference for Robin, despite Christine's overt jealousy. At family gatherings, for instance, Robin would always sit next to him, much like a queen with her monarch. She must have realized that would exacerbate the situation. As problematic as Cody's partiality was, it was much more problematic that he refused to acknowledge it. Even though he was smitten with Robin, he was making an effort to act like he treated his other wives equally. That was just untrue. It seemed as though he was trying to deceive his less affectionate wives. Perhaps he was motivated financially to maintain the fictitious multiple marriage. Clearly unconcerned about Mary, Cody appeared to be moving farther away from Christine as their need for closeness increased. Cody did seem to care about Janelle, but their relationship was essentially platonic. Robin was the only one who appeared to satiate his passion. Memorably, Cody boasted about his and then told about how much she lusted after him. Looking back, he most likely wouldn't have depicted the poor, struggling Janelle as primarily interested in his physique. She enjoyed conversing with him and going camping with him, so that wasn't accurate at all. It wasn't that she was that shallow. Cody continued to dodge even during his spats with his irate non-Robin wives in season 18. Everyone else was to blame for everything. Cody mockingly referred to his wives, aside from Robin, of course, as... He was making fun of them and their purportedly entitled mindsets. But more often than not, it was Cody and Robin who behaved like kings and queens. Living a luxurious residence in Flagstaff, Arizona, they had their own court and led a luxurious life. The other women, meanwhile, appeared to have far less. The family was led by Cody and Robin, who tugged and prodded them. It seems like they got what they want. The difference in lifestyle that exists between Cody and Robin and Janelle is something more that they may regret. Janelle is a devoted mother who is inconsolable over her son's passing. She loved Garrison dearly. The long, arduous process of healing must be excruciatingly unpleasant. Naturally, Robin and Cody are also in pain, but they have each other. In retrospect, given the circumstances surrounding the death of his child, Cody might feel remorseful. Were the opulent mansion, the costly David Yerman jewels, the gleaming white sports car, and Robin really necessary? Perhaps not, and perhaps they could have given Janelle more financial assistance. Even though these things ought to remain private, Janelle let it all be known in season 18 when she revealed that she had taken out a mortgage and invested heavily in the failed Coyote Pass project. She accumulated debt to satisfy the demands of a father who was only truly in love with one of his wives. Janelle needs to pick up the pieces now. 
she needs to figure out how to live both materially and psychologically. Janelle is a very resourceful and powerful lady, though. She'll get past her issues, but she'll always remember her lost son. Janelle did everything within her power to ensure Garrison's safety and attempted to preserve his life. Her being a late bloomer does not negate her amazing status as a mother. Most parents have occasional arguments with their children, especially if they are teenagers or adult children. Nobody is always able to get along. But Cody had more than his share of conflicts because of his relationship with Robin and the fact that he was a polygamist with 18 children. Of course, Robin and Cody will now be haunted by every confrontation with Garrison. Naturally, they would choose differently if they could go back, which they regretfully cannot. That's what makes this situation so agonizing. Nothing is reversible. Over Cody's decisions made during the COVID-19 epidemic, Garrison and Cody got into a fight. Gabriel and Savannah Brown, his children, also had complaints about that stage. The kids thought that their father had underpaid them, and they might have placed a lot of the blame on Robin. It's well knowledge that Robin has Cody completely enthralled. They might believe that she is the one truly in charge of making choices behind closed doors. Cody would find it difficult to openly oppose Robin. Until she's happy, he's not happy. Robin and Cody have had arguments, although they are usually small talk disputes. She claimed that once Christine left, he was difficult to live with, and that it probably didn't get much better when the other two spouses did the same. Even so, his disputes with his children from previous marriages were even hotter. After Garrison passed away, Cody and Garrison became distant. It is said that Peyton and Cody are not talking. After this disaster, hopefully things have improved. Peyton had previously grumbled about Cody, claiming he wasn't truly a man of the house. In addition, he made his father look bad by disclosing the juicy claim that Cody never received a COVID-19 vaccination. Perhaps that was the reason behind his severe rules. It's possible that he was extremely watchful, attempting to avert the sickness, knowing he wouldn't have the vaccination for whatever reason, some individuals are against vaccinations. Gwemjin Brown chastised Cody for his excessive spending. It is said that Leon Brown cut ties with Cody and the other Browns because Cody and other family members disapproved of Leon's change. These conflicts are significant, and it's obvious that Robin hasn't been able to make Cody and his children get along. She might have liked it better in the past when things were tumultuous since it made Cody more distant from his former wives and kids and more devoted to her. Now she might feel awful about that. This was impolite, and it appears Robin believes her appearance sets her apart. Robin was a doll when she joined the household. Her dark hair and delicate build set her apart from the other wives, making her seem rather distinct. She was also quite attractive, Every time Cody was near her, he seemed happy. She was obviously just his type. Robin, like everyone else, has weaknesses, but she has also grown throughout the years. She shouldn't be making judgments, therefore. It's rude of Cody to say in public that she thinks she's far more gorgeous than the others, even if that's really the case, which is probably only 1% accurate. Robin fostered the rivalries that ultimately resulted in the dissolution of the family in yet another way. Robin was acting inappropriately and revealed her true nature. She was not the modest and kind sister-wife that she presented herself as. Robin is a clawed creature that occasionally utilizes them. Despite their desire for monogamy, Cody and Robin were part of a large family that also included offspring from previous marriages. So, they had a difficult time getting away. By essentially making Mary, Janelle, and Christine feel insignificant, they succeeded in their mission. Cody didn't have to leave them because they'd pushed them away in a passive-aggressive manner to make them depart. Naturally, Cody was unaware of the impending death of his beloved son Garrison, who is shown above cuddling Christine. Whether on purpose or not, Cody and Robin set up the issues with other spouses. Cody then accused those women of coming through for him. Christine's promise of friendship didn't even make him feel comfortable because he didn't trust her. He claims that his ex-partners alienated their parents. This stuff was really cheesy, 
Although the ex-couples aren't flawless ladies, they did their best to sort things out with Cody. He would not yield to their demands. He departed from them, blowing a wind horn. Thus, to heap all of that upon them was, to put it mildly, impolite. Robin most likely tells Cody that he is not at fault. That's the right thing for her to do, or was. It all took a toll since Garrison was in pain and experiencing a great deal of emotional distress prior to his death. Garrison was troubled by the family's issues. Numerous forces were at work on him, causing him pain. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.